me tell you about my Jesus and all the wrong turns that you would go and undo if you could. Who can work it out for your good? Well, let me tell you about my Jesus. He makes a way where there ain't no way. Uh, this natural disaster happened. Was that God? You know, they blame God for everything. You know, um, okay. why, why did this happen to my mom? Why did this happen to my brother? Why did this happen to my cousin? Why did this happen to me? Honey on my lips. It's like the sound of a symphony to my Oh, it's like holy water on my skin. But God loves you. God has a plan for your life. God wants to make a way out, and he made a way out through His blood, the blood of Jesus, through his son. Because Jesus wants you. God wants you. They want that relationship with you. And the only way to do that is to take that step forward towards Jesus. Because he waits with his arms wide open. He does not put an expiration date on his grace. He does not put an expiration date on his love. He does not put an expiration date on his acceptance of you. He said, come as you are. Let me wash you clean. Let me, let me change your life. Let me take all that dirty junk that you carry all of that pain all of that turmoil torment all of that turmoil in your life let me give you peace let me give you love let me give you direction let me give you grace let me give you a plan the plan that i have for you because it's good you don't even know what god has planned for you but if you seek his face you will be blown away day by day by day by day of what god has in store for you the freedom that you can feel the power of god that can be on your life the fire in flowing of the holy spirit in you you and through you and you can actually accomplish what God had put you on the earth for how exciting is that so they were swollen they were red and I want her to talk about what God just did this is the healing power of Jesus guys this is real this is real this is how, this is a, a great, this is the type of God that we serve. We don't serve a God who judges you. We serve a God who heals and who loves you. So I want to just have Rebecca just testify to what happened because this is just, it just happened. <laughs> this is beautiful. They prayed for me and I just, we just went about here today and I looked down and I'm like, my feet, first of all, they feel totally fine and they are completely not red and not swollen. Wow. <laughs> I mean, for real, that's real. There. Please come and touch my life. Come and wash me clean. Make me brand new. I want all of this old stuff to pass away. You know, every little, that spirit of witchcraft, let that go. That spirit of, you know, just past shame, let that go. We are going to shoot against those in the name of Jesus, and you will be a new creation. Look at me, it's happening to me. If it can happen to me, it can happen to you. <laughs>
So take me to the river. For complete healing from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Not only physically, Lord, we know you will do it physically, but we know you will do it emotionally, and we know that you will rebuild her spirit, Lord. Yes, you lift us up. You are the lifter of our heads. And I thank you right now that we come in agreement. And we thank you, Jesus, that your will will be done in and through his life. And I thank you, Jesus, right now, as he lifts his hands to you, Lord Jesus, we just want to yes, we just want to bring him up in prayer to you, Lord Jesus, your servant. And we praise you, Lord, for bringing our brother into our lives. Thank you, Jesus, that he's been a blessing to us already. And we thank you, Jesus, that your purpose and your plan will be accomplished through his life. Thank you, Jesus. Overflows peace. Your peace overflows her. Floods her like a river, Lord Jesus. That she can just feel your tangible love. 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 Feel your tangible love.